I think I'm very good. But it looks like we might be live. Are we live? Are we now live? Are we guys? Blink twice if we're live. Blink once Jump if we're dead. Jump up and down. Tell us. Oh, we are definitely live. Except for right now, we're on the uh, we're on that we're on that view. No one wants to see that view. That looks much better. And actually, we're not even centered. You can scoot over a little bit to your right. Haha. We totally planned this out. I'm very prepared. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm joined by Wifey Sauce, and we're going to be doing a quick little unboxing of the GTX 1070 Ti. This one in particular is from EVGA. So, um, they actually sent this to me. I didn't even realize that they were sending me one until it arrived on my doorstep this morning as we were leaving the house to come to the office. Mm -hmm. And I thought, hey, I should probably do an unboxing of this. And uh, lo and behold, today is actually the unboxing embargo. It's kind of silly that they have... No, did you know that they have embargoes just for unboxings now? Where that's like a, you, that's a new thing. That it's relatively new. It didn't. I've never done one of these like last year. So apparently we can unbox it. We can show off the hardware itself, but we can't mm -hmm. actually show any performance. So benchmarks are going to have to wait until the performance embargo lifts on November second, which is a week from uh, a week from sometime around now. Wait, November seventh. November 2nd. November 2nd. That's... that's it's about a week. Next week. Yeah. So, next week. So you guys are going to have to sit tight for the for, till then uh, to actually get the scoop on how fast this thing is or what kind of thermals we're seeing. Mm -hmm. But um, at the very least, we can take it out of the box and be like, ooh, shiny, pretty, look it, it's all fancy, and look, it's a video card that looks just like all the other EVGA cards. Um, but it's still exciting nonetheless because it's a new... It's a new it's a new graphics card, kind of. I mean, it's still using the same GP104 GPU that we saw on the regular GTX 1070 and the 1080. However, I believe it has one disabled cluster, so we actually only have 2,432 CUDA cores, slightly cut down from the GTX 1080, but still kind of high up compared to the 1070 with like 1,900 and something CUDA cores. So that's actually pretty nice. Um, but let's let's stop yapping. People yes. want to see the freaking... The freaking product. I'll okay. Do it. I'll oh, you want to do it? I'll do it. Oh, wait, hold on. First off, we got to change camera angles. Well, just tell me. I'll do it. Oh, okay. Number two. All right. And uh, you're going to go ahead and... I know how to open a box, Kyle. All right. Just just making just making sure. I, I, I don't know. I, I haven't... I do all the you know, unboxings. I should have done it this way towards you. Uh, no. That would be... That, I mean, <laughs> that would be the only way to top the cork incident. That's With, true. Would be if, like, you know, wife stabs I, husband on, on stream. stream while opening up graphics card box. Accident or not. The Definitely world may not. never know. Um, they know. But uh, <laughs> they know. <laughs> you guys at home watching, you know. You know how it really went down. Let's see this, guys. All right, let's see it. Oh, this is exciting. Look at, all right, first, I'm going to I'm gonna really milk this because there's, oh. really, there's really not much content we can provide for you guys awesome. other than our, our stupid entertainment and we'll and just we'll yapping. Switch screens for yapping second. along. She has a knife down. So EVGA likes to include posters with their uh, with their products. So you have to turn that guy around. Wait, wait, can you guys see it? Superior hardware! What? Is that a euphemism? So it looks like a, like a robot guy. Alright, EVGA. It's like a movie poster. It is like a movie poster. Should we hang it up? Um not right now. It's kind of wrinkly. It is kind of wrinkly. We might need to iron it out a bit. Alright. That's why I never understood the whole poster in the box thing. You get it out and it's just got all these creases right away. But, but hey, maybe, maybe yeah. someone just wanted like one-sixth of that poster and they cut it out and there was no creases at all. Alright. Um, and then you've got, uh, and then we've got some, some documentation here. Your user's guide. Whoever reads a user's guide from a graphics card? I'm sure someone does. And then the stickers. These are, these are nice stickers. Nice and big. Enthusiast built. Of course, you get an EVGA badge. It's kind of... You know what would be cool? It would be fun to do a video on how the badges have changed over the years. Why would that be cool? It probably wouldn't. But... <laughs> I was like, but no one's done it yet. But there's probably a reason <laughs> for that. Um, and then you also get what looks to be... Uh, looks like a 4-pin to dual 6-pin PCI adapter. Beautiful. Can... Crinkly, super crinkly. Is, is anyone complaining yet about like you know, camera feed or the audio, the exposure? It's camera. too exposed. Oh yeah, it's a little too exposed. Is it really too exposed? Yeah, a little bit. Oh well, that's just because that's just because the plastic is super reflective. Let me get it out of its clamshell case. Read the chat. Someone there. said. 
Zebra yeah. lines. That's zebra your... lines. Wait, we're getting zebra lines? Yeah, because of... See? I told you. Wait, why is the camera showing zebra lines on stream? That's weird. That's not right. Let me go ahead and fix that really quick. Fix I'm gonna crank down to- oh, jeez! Fix Whoa it. there! Whoa! Hey! You can fix it. Wait, give it a sec. It looks like they're sort of fixed on, on that well, side. Well, yeah, but this is what- that's what everyone's seeing. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, that's, that's because it, it usually takes, right, like, right. A, a couple seconds to catch Yay, up. Yay, they're a gone! Delay. All right, zebras are gone. I apologize. We did not mean to bring wildlife into this. But it's... here we have the graphics card. Now, there's been a lot of rumor and speculation. I don't know where this came from. But people were saying that the GTX 1070 Ti would be unoverclockable, which is now a word that I've just made up. Um, that's not true. It's already been confirmed that you will be able to overclock the GTX 1070 Ti. And uh, I don't know. There might there might have been some truth to the fact that Nvidia might have might have been like trying to get Ed and board partners to settle down on their factory overclock because you wouldn't want nvidia for sure wouldn't want a 1070 ti to outperform a gtx 1080 out of the box that would sort of cannibalize it um that would not be good for them but you will be able to overclock this guy in fact evga is already working on uh, the latest version of their uh, oc scanner um as oc scanner x and precision xoc uh, so that you can basically do one button overclocking. So instead of having to fiddle around with, uh, you know, your own, your own hardware, that that sounds sounds funny. Um, you should just be able to click a single button in uh, Precision X, and it'll do it'll it'll scan and detect the optimal overclock for you. But here's the card itself. I believe it's shipping with a base and boost clock of 1607, 1607 megahertz uh, base and 1683 boost respectively. And uh, look at that, it's got a dual dual fan design. This is rocking an ACX 3.0 cooler, as we can see. Ooh. I actually really like these EVGA cards. They were very polarizing when they first came out, just the style and stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll always be a fan. And then we've also got a single eight pin connector. This is actually a reference connector. So um, the reference design will also be eight pin, very similar to the existing GTX 1070 and 1080. So that's great. Uh, this is not, I should, for the record, it does not say anywhere on the box that this is a super clock or super duper clock. Yeah, I know that's not correct. Um, or a for the win edition. So it just looks like this is a standard GTX 1070 Ti EVGA, you know, basic, basic model here. But, but that's cool. I, I would imagine that, uh, your power requirements are going to go up as, as the, uh, as the tier of graphics card scales up as well. Oh, I'm an idiot, because it says SC right there. I forgot that EVGA, EVGA does that now. Um, so this is a super clock, which, which is cool that for a super clocked card, you still only have an 8-pin connector. You do not get a backplate, but, uh, you know, boo-hoo. Aesthetics is... Aesthetics are just aesthetics, after all. Um, there is an SLI connector, two fingers there, which indicates that this is going to be supported with two-way SLI. So you could drop two of these guys back to back and uh, theoretically improve your performance quite a bit. Of course, we won't know until November 2nd. And then we've got, uh, let's see, it looks like a heatsink and stuff, of course. The heatsink looks pretty nice. It looks like one, two, three, maybe four or five copper heat pipes. It's kind of hard to tell from here. Why don't, we, why don't we crack this guy open? Should we do that? Should we crack him open, honey? I guess so. Are you going to let me help you? Uh... If you if you promise not to break anything, I promise I will not break anything. I'll hold you personally liable if uh, if anything goes wrong. Uh, three Display Ports, one HDMI, and you get a Dual Link DVI. Five video outs right there. That's pretty nice. So let's uh, let's take this guy apart, shall we? Okay. I'm That's gonna good. zoom in a little bit for you guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa! How's that look? Yes. Yeah, look a little better. better. And I'm gonna. I'm also gonna like do a little autofocus there. Crispy. Not really, but. Someone's supposed to slap you. We're getting there. Uh, don't do that. No, don't listen to them. No, no, stop it. No. See now, now you've given in to their demands. And only one. Only one. I have to abuse you at least once on camera. Yeah, but you give in to one demand, and then they all put in That's their own. The only they all one. put in their own special requests. That's the only one, guys. That's the only one, she yeah. says. 
She'll never do. She'll Just never love. do it again. She says. She'll never do it again. <laughs> I'm the only one she listens to. She said. I never listen to you. That's true. <laughs> Who am I kidding? So let's go ahead and take this guy apart really quick. I'll be speedy about it, guys. I know undoing screws isn't the most riveting thing you've witnessed all day. What? I was listening to you again. My point exactly. Uh, I rest my case <laughs> at the entertainment value of screwing. Well, you know, actually, depending was on there screwing. No, um, was what? there no anti-static bag? Uh, there was no, no anti-static anti bag. That was a good observation. Um, I have had graphics cards come with, without an anti-static bag in the past. I've never had any issues with that. However, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody out there has... There's always one person's like, Mine didn't come with an anti-static bag, and when I opened the box, it exploded in my face. Um, but, uh... Let's, let's just hope this thing boots when I finally get it on the test bed. ba dum bum ba dum I need music. What, do you want to get demonetized? What? Is that, is that what you want for this no. channel? YouTube, YouTube hates music, and they hate joy. Okay? You can't show them that you're enjoying anything. They will come down and demolish you. So let's undo these guys. Let's see this dude. Take them <laughs> off. Uh, Jacob said, gave donated five dollars, and he said, "Buy yourself a, magne a magnetic screw slash tool holder," which we do have one actually. Yeah, we do, but it's currently filled with screws, <laughs> as it should be. But we could definitely use more of them. So thank you for that donation, Andrew. And I'm just Andrew. About oh, Jacob. Uh, Jacob. Right? Or am I wrong too? Yeah, Jacob. Jacob. Right? Jacob, Andrew. How did you get Andrew from Jacob? Same thing. No, it's not same. the same thing. They're nowhere near the yeah, same. Yeah, they're. I'm sure there's a Jacob and an Andrew related. So it doesn't matter. Thank I you. Mean, Thank I you, have Jacob. A cousin Andrew. Thank you, Jacob. I love you. <laughs> All right, we're just about ready here. Alrighty. Alrighty. Wait. I think this guy can come off now. Oh, ha ha. Oh, ha ha ha. So we do have a couple cables that we need to unplug really quick. There's this guy, which I believe these are both for the fans. So there's this one. Boom. That is for, okay, so this plug right here is for both of the fans. We got a dual fan design which this plug's responsible for. And I'm guessing this one is for our LED because uh, the faceplate right here theoretically lights up, perhaps in white, once the unit's powered up. So I'm gonna unplug that, whoop, there we go. And here we have a beautiful shot of our, sort of our base plate here and the heat sink, the underbelly of it all. We're going full tear down here. Um, looks like an appropriate amount of thermal paste was applied. You can see our power delivery right here. I think it's a five five phase power that we're dealing with. Alrighty, so I was wrong. It's actually three copper heat pipes, but they seem to be fairly fairly wide. Fairly wide. Fins aren't too dense or anything. Now this is not an ICX card uh, by any means, so you're not getting some of those additional features. There's no like. Uh, MCU sensors. You only get one sensor on the GPU. And uh, let's go ahead and wipe that, wipe that Tim off. Get out of here, Tim. Why so we can get a, a nicer, a nicer look at the die itself. What are you doing over there? For some reason, I can't leave comments right now. It's weird. But just in case anyone's wondering, you can send a super chat by clicking the little money sign. In chat. Yes, I, I brought Wifey Sauce on to this stream so she could panhandle and beg you guys for money. That is not true. Yep, you're doing a great job, honey. Keep keep asking him for money. <laughs> no, someone was asking how to do it. Make I'm sure just, that they know all the ways to do it. Ooh, the zebras are back. 
What? Yeah. Is it because of this? Uh, yeah. Zebras. It's because of the it's copper. Of the copper. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Just move it off screen. I'm moving it to right what? here for now. We'll, scotch. We'll, we'll lean it against the uh, the cup of cup of scotch it's there, scotch. which looks great. All right, so whoop, base plate comes right off, and look at that. We've got a uh, pretty nice coverage of thermal pads. So you got thermal pads over here for definitely our memory, some of our power delivery. Looks pretty nice. Looks pretty nice. And let me, let me give you guys a close-up look here. Let me try to position the camera. And I'm going to zoom. Autofocus. Go. Right there. Last, yes. You did it correctly. He very, donated $5. Thank you, clean. Last. Thanks, Last. Appreciate it, man. Um, all right. Well, we should have some fun with this guy. Uh, guys, let me know in chat what kind of benchmarks you'd like to see. I'm definitely going to be comparing it to the GTX 1070 and the 1080. I think that's a given. I think a lot of reviewers are going to do the same. And the other thing that I'd like to compare this to is uh, RX Vega 56. I have a feeling that's why this card even exists. I feel like it's sort of NVIDIA's response to that card. Um, because as we've seen, even in my own testing, the RX Vega 56 does pull ahead of the GTX 1070 in certain titles, uh, under certain configurations and such. So, you know, NVIDIA's definitely got uh, a lot of silicon probably left to spare in them factories, and they're probably like, you know what, we can make a new SKU out of this. Same, same silicon and all that, but, uh, you know, hashtag marketing and all that. But, um... There it is, folks. That's that's our, our GTX 1070 Ti Super Clock Edition from EVGA. Fully nude. Fully, oh, fully nude. Put some pants in on. the flesh, guys. So, um, let's see. If you guys have any last-minute questions... Oh, I should mention price. EVGA told me that I could mention the price of their card here, uh, which is going to be $469.99. And if we look at the pricing for the GTX 1070 and 1080, 1070 is going for about 410 bucks, for, between 410 and 420. I did see a 410 dollar GTX 1070 on Newegg, like right before we started streaming. So that's on the low end. That's on the cheap end. Is you can get a 1070 for 410. GTX 1080, a little bit more than that. 560 was the cheapest one I saw between Amazon and Newegg. So this is pretty much smack dab in the middle at 470 bucks. If we can overclock this guy and get within three to five percent of whatever the GTX 1080, whatever the uh, 1080 can pull. I'm thinking this is going to be a pretty good bargain, but um, of course there's also other things to consider, like I'm sure thermals aren't going to be a problem, I believe this card has a, the same TDP as the GTX 1080 at 180 watts, so that's not much of a concern either. But um, if there are any other last minute questions, uh, everyone's just, everyone's just saying, fast, everyone's so. just saying 69 in chat. Yeah, I've been because because of the price, putting people on time out four hundred and sixty nine dollars. You can't possibly put all the people who say sixty nine in chat oh, in timeout. Oh, I out. sure can. Watch me. Someone someone said four twenty. Blaze it. Make yeah. him a moderator. No. Okay. Will not. All right. I tried. I tried four twenty. Blaze it, guy. I tried. Um. No, we cannot benchmark. It's, I will not run Minecraft. Why do I even ask many. you guys to ask questions? You're all useless. <laughs> You're all dead to me. No, I love you guys. Not because um, you said it, look at chat now. Oh, you know what? There was a question or something that I caught just briefly uh, about float plane. Somebody asked me about float plane, which is LTT or Linus Tech Tips' new platform mm -hmm. that um, is kind of like paid YouTube in a sense. It's kind of like Vessel in a way. Um, the guys over there might, might hate me for saying that, but in a nutshell, just to explain it quickly, um, you can uh, go over to their platform once it launches later this year and get a lot of cool benefits that you don't have on YouTube. And a lot of your favorite creators will eventually be there, uh, perhaps myself included. Uh, in fact, you guys heard it here first. Um, I'm allowed to say this. Linus knows. But Are you allowed to say this? I am allowed to say this. You're breaking this the is rules. impromptu announcement. Impromptu announcement. There will be an official video on this later this month, but. Bitwit, the YouTube channel, is the first channel to be officially partnered with Linus Tech Tips Float Plane Club. Woo! 
Woo! So we will actually be the first channel uh, up on their site Isn't when it officially right? launches whenever. <laughs> whenever Linus and Luke get their shit together, honestly. Yes. Uh, no, um, it should be a lot of fun. I'm super honored to be uh, on board and yes, to, to essentially be the guinea pig. Um, of this platform. I'm also kind of terrified. <laughs> but it should be a lot of fun, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. We're going to have some really cool uh, incentives for you guys there. They've already shown me a lot of the um, like the, the web pages and the layout, uh, and it looks fabulous. It looks it really looks great. The video player looks great, too. Um, so Quick question. There will be more details coming soon. El Jefe says, How about benchmarks with Assassin's Creed Origins? That's a good question, Hefe. Um, I don't have that game, I don't think. I don't, I don't think that game is in my library. Uh, so I don't know if I'll have time to purchase and download it. But I do have a pretty nice suite of existing games that I like to run for benchmarks that usually show uh, GPU performance um, adequately, which I'll probably resort to for this for this video. Um, we only have about a week to do, to do all of our testing and, and shoot the damn thing, so... But yeah, that was a good question. Um, five dollars from NL Gaming. No um, notes. Dollars just from five, NL. Well, Hong Kong dollars. Thanks, NL. I appreciate it. I honestly Jeez, was not. Garlic today? My gosh, that uh, burp. I had a Caesar salad. It's probably oh, the Caesar. My God, it was yeah. like just garlic up my nose. It was like nose. authentic anchovy dressing. So that's probably you're getting like you know a dead fish that lingered inside of my stomach acid for too long. It's really strong. You can like turn your head away or something. Like my. Dear Lord. Here, have some scotch. I have some already. I okay. need some more. All right. Well, guys, this was supposed to be a pretty short stream because it's Friday evening. You guys get on with whatever plans you had. Yep. Who am I, who, what am I talking about? We're all nerds. We don't have plans. We don't have plans after this. We're probably going to well, go home and just nerd. do zero um, or continue I'm working. I'm plenty when I get home. All right. So Wifey Sauce has very popular lifestyle, very important and lots of yeah. things to do, and she knows people. But yeah. I'm literally going to go home and just chill. Oh, we're, we have to watch Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, Stranger yeah, that's Things. That's what I'm doing. Uh, everyone go home and watch Stranger Things we're with basically me. basically... Staying up yes. all night watching every episode of Stranger Things. Yeah, it's gonna be Stranger awesome. Thing. So guys, Get some beer, food, sit on the couch, and just chill. That's why I married her. Um, yeah. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll be seeing you guys very shortly. A uh, new video going up on Ultra in a couple hours, and a new video on the main channel right here on Bitwit yep. uh, goes up tomorrow. tomorrow. Stack Attack, Stack, Stack Attack, Attack episode two. two. And then after that is the evil build, which is yeah. epic AF, bros. So, guys, thanks a lot. Have a good one. We'll Bye. see you soon. Bye. See you later. I didn't show you how to shut down the stream yet, did no, I? No, you didn't. Okay, I'm going to have to awkwardly do it. This is yeah. one of those things where it's like, it. this is where, like, everyone, you know, when you're, like, hanging out with friends and you all say goodbye and, like, hug, but then, like, you forgot something, so you have to go back to their house and be like, hey, I forgot my keys. And it's, like, really awkward. It's like, wait, do we hug again type of thing? Okay, I'm just going to uncut. I'm going to.